Hey guys, I'm Zed, I'm Driving Empire, and I'm going to be going over the latest update that has come to Driving Empire. This is the build a car so-called um, update here. And I'm going to be honest, the first time I played this was on stream, and uh, I gotta say, it is uh, quite interesting. I do not know how I feel about that. So, in total, in this update, there is the build a car event, which is the main part of that event, where you um, have a certain amount of time to build a car and... Uh, collect parts around the map to build a car and uh, then you get that you get that car forever Also with that update came a, a new house actually which the house is actually super cool So uh, yeah, so basically uh, when you walk up when you spawn he says hey buddy fancy helping me build a dream car It's all yours if you're up to the task and then you build this well, I, I don't know what this thing is called. It's like an Aries something a R E S something I think is uh, what it's called. I forget the name of it, but uh, it, it reminds me of like a, it makes it like a Venom F5, the Hennessy Venom F5, and like a, like a, a Koenigsegg, like a Gera front end. I don't know, but it's a real car. At first, I thought this was a fake car in the stream. I was like, this, this is weird. This is a fake car. But then, in the you guys in the chat uh, informed me that it was actually a real car. But still, to be honest, I, I'm not. I don't know if I'm feeling it. I don't know if I'm feeling it. So you got to build a car little button down here, and uh, it says you complete missions four parts to build your car and it's a limited time event uh, at the time of recording this there's only three days left to do this so here you go you got to collect all the parts here you got the hood the windows interior rims tires etc 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 you got all of this stuff some of them you have to do races like this one complete 10 exhibition highway races so you have to comp do the highway race in exhibition mode 10 times which is uh, exhibition mode is you race it with a bunch of people but you don't have to place like it doesn't matter if you place last or first you still complete it which is good which is good also got to drive 250 miles for this one, and then five cross country races for this one. And then there's also other ones where you can just find stuff around the map, like the trunk, um, the tires, find those around the map, and the doors engine. Those are the easiest. But definitely the hardest are doing all of these races and stuff. And if you don't feel like doing it, you can't skip it. But I, I was going to skip the cross country races, but it is 500 Robux just to skip five cross country races. And I was not about to do that. You also have the skip all button. Which it is uh, more than 1,900 Robux to skip all of it, but since I've done two of these, I, I think it's about like 2,000 Robux, I think. Or around there, or 2,000 some change to complete all that. But yeah, but honestly, I mean, doing all of these races, like this is a lot of grinding. You got 10 drag races, 10 drawbridge uh, races, uh, 5 circuit races, 5 cross country races, and then 10 highway races. And on top of that, they drive 250 miles. Um, and yeah, and to be honest, doing all that for, for this, personally, for me, that is not worth it. So I'm not going to be completing this event. But yeah, I'm just not interested in this car. The car is okay, and this is just a lot of work. Uh, also, the next part of this update, like I said, was the houses. So I'm going to go to Laguna Heights really quick and get this new house. So it is just one house. Uh, it is in the medium category. So I'm going to uh, get my Porsche. I guess I didn't really need to get in a car since the house is right here. But got the medium plot here. It is the uh, Tucker Town Way. It's the medium plot type. 2,100 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two garages for $2.2 million. And this is the smallest uh, square foot house out of all of the medium houses. So I'm going to spawn it. I actually really like this house. I mean, look at this. Super nice piece of land this is on. You got all of this nice uh, little scenery around all these trees in the back. You got a pool. And this house is actually super cool. Oh, it's a hammock. Didn't even notice that. I wonder if I can actually sit in that. But yeah, look at this house. This house is actually really nice. So, got this little uh, little covered doohickey John whatever over here. So, I'm going to bring this car in the garage really quick. And uh, show you guys what all is going on here. So, it's actually a really small garage. You can barely fit two cars in here with this little step here. But put the car in the garage. I'm going to go in the front door just so we can kind of get an easier gauge of the house. So, walk up these flights of stairs. Hit the doorbell. Spam proof doorbell. Gotta love it. Walk in this crib and... <laughs> it's like it's like a traditional like home style I guess I, I don't really know what you're trying to call this but it is a uh, very nice in here not too modern but it's, I guess you want to say traditional yeah but I uh, walk in here got the little living area the kitchen behind it and if you walk straight out behind here you got a huge balcony with a lots of doors and got the balcony going over to the pool in the backyard area so come over here got the dining area Right, right here. Got the first bedroom here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is a uh, laundry room here. We've got the PP room, and this is just confusing. Let me just shut all these doors. Holy crap! Another bedroom here. 
This one also has a uh, balcony door to get out to the balcony here. To get out to the super long connected balcony throughout the whole main floor of this house. Walking down to the other side. Got a little office area right here with the setup. Right here, got a bedroom. Also another door that leads out to this massive balcony area here. Got a little closet here. Across the hall, you got this bathroom with no door. And you have the mirror right here, so... Uh, if you're walking up, you can see somebody taking a dookie or taking a shower. Uh, but also if you're, if you're sitting here, you'll definitely be able to see them coming in the mirror. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is very interesting. No door, no curtain, no anything here. Which is, uh, pretty interesting. But I'm pretty sure this is the master bedroom, I'm pretty sure. Because you got the, uh, bathroom right across from it. Pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, that is that for the main level. We're gonna head downstairs to the basement now. This is pretty cool. So to your left, after they coming down the basement stairs, you got the pool. Got a pool table, little game room over here. Got another... Little living room area, little dining area, also a little door right here to the garage right here, which is pretty cool. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Got the little uh, door to the outside, got a little fireplace out here, got some pool toys. And actually, one really cool part about this is you can actually post up and chill on the good old floaties. Look at this, dude. This is pretty good. This one as well, you can just chill. It's like a nice little pool day. Ah, nice. Pretty cool, got a little pool noodle over here. And, uh, let's get the deep end of the pool, too. This is really deep. It's pretty good. Just got that. Got some tables and, uh, chairs over there. Coming down here, got another door to the, uh, pool area. And then right here, you got a, uh... Oh, this is another door to the garage. I thought this was a bedroom for some reason. Yeah, got another door to the garage. Two doors to the garage. It's pretty interesting. But there's no bedrooms down here. Um, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. That is basically it for this house. That is all there is to it in this house. But... It is a really nice house. This is probably one of my favorite houses. Um, but I think the house, the large house that they added in the last update was definitely my favorite. But, uh, yeah, boys. That is going to conclude this uh, Driving Empire video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to let me know down below in the comments. And let me know your opinions on this Build a Car event. Personally, I mean, it's a lot of work to get this car that's just... I mean, I, I, I seriously had no idea even what this thing was. The only reason I know what it is is because I streamed it and you guys told me in the chat. That, that's the only way I knew. If I didn't stream it, I would have had wouldn't have had a clue. But uh, yeah, to be honest, doing all these races and all of this stuff just to get this car is not really worth it to me. But that is just my opinion. But let me know down below in the comments. I'm sure some of you guys absolutely love this car. And uh, this is all worth it to you. But also, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Let me know how long it takes you to complete everything. If you guys just sat there and grinded it or you've got a little average, like a little rounded time, let me know how long it took to complete. Because I, I really want to know how long it takes to complete. M mostly because of the races. I feel like the races will take a long time. This is just super easy to just look it up on Discord or, or s I'm sure somewhere on the internet there's somewhere that tells you all these locations. I mean, that's where I found these. I found these on Discord. But yeah, anyways, let me know down below how long it took you guys to complete this whole event. But uh, yeah, boys, I appreciate every single one of you for watching today's video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Thank you.